washer woes got you down? Well, I'm here, hopefully, to help you out of your dirty dilemma. If your washer has a set of six lights somewhere on the console that are labeled something like this, you, my friend, are likely the reluctant owner of a splutch drive washing machine. What's a splutch, you may ask? Well, apparently there are not enough words in the English language, so Whirlpool decided to smash two words together and invent a new one. First, spline, which is kind of like a shaft with teeth, and a clutch, which is a device for engaging and disengaging two working parts of a mechanism. But because it's not actually a word, I'm going to use it in this video however I splutch. It's efficient, it's simple, and it's easy to work on. Now, before you throw up all of your computer because of my public display of affection for Whirlpool, let me just finish by saying that the it's easy to work on one is particularly important because you will be working on it. Or you'll be tapping your celebratory beverage fund paying someone else to work on it for you. To be fair, this design does have potential. However, because you're watching this video, I'm guessing some poor design features, weak materials, and maybe even engineering flaws huh? might have your panties in a splash. Well, my friend, just sit back and relax while I assist you in defining the cause of your washer woes. This washer style has many disguises and price tags ranging from about $400 to $900 depending on, well, if it's wearing its fancy face or not. But the mechanics and diagnostic processes are basically the same. Here are a small sample of models and brand names used as of the making of this video. Wow! Wow! Don't worry, there is a searchable list on my website appliancesistant.com. The main definable feature is this bank of six status lights somewhere on the console. Let's start with a very important process of understanding the diagnostics mode. So think of this as a combination lock. You clear to the left, three to four rotations, and then start the combination. Pretty quick. Right, 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 left, right. Each click should be slightly faster than one second. If you got it right, all the lights on the status bank should start flashing. If not, clear to the left and try again. There are two diagnostic modes, automatic and manual, and there is also a setting for retrieving stored error codes from the last few times your washer splutched. First, we will retrieve the error codes, because you may create more errors with your test cycles, so we want to find out what's recorded and clear them before we move on. After successfully entering the diagnostics mode, turn the dial one more click to the right so that the done light is lit and press the start button. The guilty party will then clear its conscience one click at a time. When your washer is done confessing its last four mistakes, all the status lights will flash. Remember to write down the errors as you go, because once you exit the diagnostics by pressing and holding the start button for three seconds, you will also erase any stored codes. And now some translated sample error codes, and a puppy for your viewing pleasure. The far left right labeled fill, or sensing, is F for fault, or splutched up, whichever you prefer. The second light from the left, usually labeled wash, is 8. The third, rinse, is 4. The fourth, spin, is 2. And lastly, the done light is 1. F7E1, basket speed sensor fault. F7E6, motor fault. F5E1, lid lock fault and F5E3, lid unlock fault. If you don't see any codes and only the first light labeled sensing or fill flashes, it means that either your washer is lying or it's been behaving itself and has nothing to report. Next, let's run an automatic diagnostic cycle to see if we can get a few more clues. If you are having a noise problem while the washer is either agitating or spinning, you may want to check out the other video in the series before you put yourself through the misery of listening to that horrible noise one more time. Well, just for the heck of it, let's hear it. Or this. Yeah. This is a very common problem and is definitely in the running for the most annoying noise ever. The good news is, it's usually a very easy repair. After all the lights are lit for the second time, click your control to the right two clicks or until only the spin light is lit and press the start button. The washer will now begin an automatic test sequence checking the lid lock, the cold water valve, the hot water valve, then the hot and cold valves together. Next, the shifter moves to disengage the tub and the motor drives the wash plate for agitation. Then the drain pump. And after that, the shifter re-engages the tub and the motor will attempt a short spin. After all that, the washer will wait until the tub sensor detects that the tub has coasted to a full stop. 
Then if all goes well, the lid should unlock and you can check your washer for any new errors. Well, hopefully you're not completely consplutched huh? and are one step closer to being the hero of your home. If this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And for more appliance repair help, visit appliancesistant.com. Thanks again for watching.